All right, what if we want to now find the probability that the z-score is between 0 0.25 and 2.74? And remember, the z-score represents the number of standard deviations you are from the mean. So let me go ahead and write that probability z-score is between 0 0.25 and 2.74. All right. Let me change to red. So what we're first of all going to look at for 0 0.25, we're going to look for the 0 0.2 along the first column and then 0 0.05 will be across the top. It'll tell us which column to join with the row that I choose for 0 0.2, which is right here. And then 0 0.05 is right there. So the probability we're looking for here, 0.5987. I'm going to write 0.5987 here. And then 2.74 z-score. Once again, we're looking for 2.7. Let me actually go ahead and undo what I just wrote. And I'm going to change my color of my pen. Let's change to blue. 2.74. I'm going to look for 2.7, which is right there. And then my last digit will be in my hundredths place. 0 0.04 will be that column right there. When I join this row, 2.7, and the column 0 0.04, I will get 0.9969. Now, I want the probability in between these two values. So I have to take the larger probability or area, which is 0.9969, and I need to subtract from it the smaller area, 0.5987. When I work that on my calculator, I get 0.3982 or 39.82%. That is the probability that the z-score will be in between these two values. And before I end here, let me draw a little picture in the bottom left corner. Oh, that's pretty bad. Let me try that again. <gasps> Let's see if I can get a little bit straighter. There we go. Okay. And we'll pretend, I'm sorry, I'm not a good artist, as you can see. I'm going to put 0 right there. And I'm going to put 0.25 in red. Let me first of all mark 1, 2, and then 3 here. So 0.25 would be way over here, 0 0.25, my first z-score. And then 2.74 be about right there. So what I'm looking for is the area in between these two z-scores. And that's what I found. That area is about 39.82%.